I am a pool and patio fanatic. I spend every single moment outside around our pool, enjoying our patio space. It really is an extension of my home for about seven to eight months of the year when the weather's nice enough and we can spend time out here. I want my patio area to feel inviting and cozy and warm with a little bit of a party vibe. And I want it to feel inviting. I don't want just a pool in the ground and a cold patio with a bunch of concrete. So you really have to put a little effort into it to warm it up. So let's get into this video so that I can show you everything you need to upgrade your pool and patio area. So the first thing I wanna show you is these solar powered LED tiki torches that look like a true real flame at night. This is my most recent purchase and these things blew my mind. So the tiki torch itself is about nine inches tall and it is completely metal. It is waterproof, it is sealed, it is rust proof, and there's a solar panel on the top. We did attach these to our fence with just black wire ties, which you can't even tell are on there, but they do come with poles that make them about six feet tall and the ground stakes. So you could use these tiki torches to light up a walkway in a garden area, around your patio, around your pool. There's lots of ways that you can use them and install them. We just attach them to our existing fence. As soon as it starts to turn dusk outside, these little babies fire up and they look like a real flame. I was so skeptical at first when my husband ordered these because I thought I was gonna be able to tell that it was an LED light, but the color matches a real flame. The flicker matches a real flame. They are so realistic, it's unbelievable. On Amazon, they're available in a two pack or a four pack. We have a total of four out here. They are just a smidge pricey. I know this, but they are so worth the money. I'm gonna show you now what the torches look like when the sun starts to set tonight and when it is pitch dark out here. And you can see for yourself how realistic the solar powered LED tiki torches are. And I loved the look of these torches. The kind of simple classic design, they're jet black. I knew they would kind of blend into our fence and not look like I added something onto the fence. But I have a friend who saw these torches at my house and bought some for his yard. And so we put the tiki torches on the poles with ground stakes and then put them in the ground along the edge of his concrete area around his pool and they look fantastic as well. So lots of uses for the solar power tiki torches and that is my first you gotta have it for your pool and patio area. And because we want ambiance out here, we have this strand of solar powered string lights on our fence as well. And these are a cool sort of a white light where the solar power tiki torches are a true orange flame colored. Here's an up close of these bulbs. They're shatterproof and we just took a black wire tie and hung them on our fence. And it did take us two strands of lights in order to cover our entire fence area. They come on a very long strand. It's 48 feet long. There's 15 bulbs per strand and each bulb is set three feet apart. And each strand does come with one solar power box. You can stake it in the ground or you can clip it onto your deck or your fence just like we did. The string lights combined with the solar lights just give our outdoor area such a warm, inviting vibe and it makes me wanna come out here at night sit on our couches, have a glass of wine, hang out in the pool at night. These were some really great upgrades to our outdoor area and something you could easily do. And these string lights would be so cute if you had a gazebo outside or a covered area. And they just make a really cool vibe, makes me wanna come outside and enjoy my pool and patio. And if you have a pool, these are some must haves for you. You can see my pool behind me. We've had this pool about 15 years and it is a fiberglass pool we don't have a pool light. And I'm so excited because the sponsor of today's video is the maker of these super cool, super awesome LED battery powered pool lights. These are the coolest lights I think I have ever seen. You can get white lights if you have a white pool. You can get blue lights if you have a liner or a blue pool. If you have a metal sided pool, like an above ground pool or a pool that's in the ground with a liner, there is a magnetic ring. Put it on the back right there and it just shoop, sticks to your pool. That's 
it. If you have a fiberglass pool like I do, they actually give you a tube of glue and you put a, a ring of that glue back here and stick it onto the pool. It's waterproof glue. It is meant to stay. So there's no drilling, no holes, and no electricity. So once you get your lights out of the box, they do send you a charging cable. It takes about three to four hours to fully charge them for the first time. And then the lights themselves will run for about 40 hours before they need charging again. So you've got on off, you can set a timer, you've got the brightness levels here, you can dim them all with this little handy dandy remote control. The lights themselves have red, green, blue, white, LED beads and a pure white color option. You can do up to 16 different color combinations with the lights. You can have the lights flash, fade, smooth changing colors. My husband and I played with this the other night. We had the lights in the pool and I think we really love the purple and pink combination. The lights themselves have wide angle illumination. So instead of a very direct straightforward light, they shine in a wide angle lighting up a huge portion of your pool. The lights themselves are completely waterproof. They will not corrode. They will not rust. It's 5.9 inches wide and only an inch thick. Stick these on the side of your pool. Nobody's even gonna notice them until you turn them on and then woo, you are ready for a nighttime swim party. They have a 3000 mAh high capacity rechargeable battery that needs no battery replacement. And the light is fully IP68 waterproof. The five and a half inch size of this light is way bigger and way brighter than most other submersible pool lights. You can get these as single lights. You can do a two pack. How many lights you need just depends on the look you're going for honestly. One light would make it super subtle. Four or five lights could really light it up. And I'm gonna show you now what my pool looks like at night with no lights at all. See, kind of boring and dull compared to now with four rechargeable LED lights in my pool. That is such a huge difference. Again, it's all about the ambiance and making your pool and patio fun and inviting. It makes you want to go outside. It's just the little teeny touches. And I think this is one of the coolest pool products I have seen this year. So thank you so much to the sponsor of today's video, these LED rechargeable pool lights. I'm ready for a pool party. So if you have a pool, you know how much a pain in the behind cleaning and vacuuming your pool can be. Well, I have a robotic pool cleaner. Yes, I do. We've had it for three years. We run that pool cleaner every single day, sometimes twice a day. My husband is obsessed with our pool being clean. If a leaf blows in the pool, he will run the robot. It is called the Dolphin Nautilus CC Plus Robotic Pool Cleaner. It is expensive, but it is worth it every penny. You can tell how long the cord is on the robotic pool cleaner. It will clean a pool that is up to 55 feet long. This pool cleaner has two filters that are top loaded, super easy to clean out. All you have to do is pop open the top, pull out the filters, rinse them off with a garden hose, snap them back in, and your robot is clean as a whistle. And the most fantastic feature about this pool cleaner, it has wheels that are rubberized and have grippers on them, and this pool cleaner will climb up the sides of your pool. Oh yes, it will. It is not just a bottom pool cleaner. It will come all the way up the sides of your pool, all the way to the top edge of your pool, and go back down. In our pool, we have two kind of seated areas right here at the end of the pool, as well as walk-in steps at the other end. And the robot will get up on the steps. It'll clean, it'll come back down. It will clean every single inch of this pool. It is amazing. Now our pool is not gigantic and the robot takes about an hour and a half to run the pool. You set it on a timer if you want to and the pool robot is plug and play. There is no setup. You do nothing. You drop it in your pool and you press go and it works. It is that simple. It is fantastic. My husband has not vacuumed our pool by hand in over three years. We have had this robot for three years. We have never had a maintenance issue. We have not had to buy new filters. It has been fantastic and worth every single penny. We also have the caddy system for the robot. So the caddy system will hold your robot when you take it out of your pool. It keeps it off the ground. It lets the water drain. It has a control system on it. It's on wheels. So we actually keep the caddy system in our little pool house here. And when the robot's not in use, we hang it 
get on that caddy. So that is a bonus purchase if you want the caddy. You don't have to use the caddy, but it's kind of handy to have. And it does provide a place for you to hang your robot and just, you know, not have it sitting on the ground. So we have all of this concrete around our pool and every year I get out here and I take a power washer and I clean the concrete because during the winter, as hard as we try to keep this clean, there's stains from leaves and there's just, you know, things. Concrete gets yucky and I don't like that. So every spring I clean every inch of the concrete. Last year for my birthday, my husband bought me a 15 inch circular attachment that goes on my power washer that is the best thing since sliced bread what would normally take me three days to clean all of the concrete around the pool plus i do two sidewalks and our entire driveway It'd take me three days and i would have a broken back like it was a lot of work last year with that little power washer attachment i cleaned every bit of the concrete in three hours i was so happy i was smiling grinning from ear to ear it is the best attachment for a power washer I have ever used and it is so cheap. If you have a power washer, this is an absolute must. So we keep the power washer in the garage. I apologize for the mess behind me. Our living room is being renovated. So currently my couch is in the garage, <laughs> but this is my tool daily 15 inch power washer attachment. You can see it's circular. It has three wheels that have a 360 degree rotation on them. That is the ticket. You will find surface cleaners that don't have wheels and oh my gosh, they're impossible to use. This just glides across the concrete and you can use this on any flat surface, concrete, sidewalk, deck, roof if it's flat, really any flat surface and it just so smoothly glides across because of these wheels. It has a quick connect thing on the top. You just whoop, put it on here and you're in business. The bottom of this has this one rotation that puts out the water and there are bristles on the side that keep the water and any debris from splashing out onto you or your feet. So last year I was out here power washing. I was barefoot. My legs weren't dirty. My legs weren't even wet. And this little sucker just woo, 15 inches at a time and cleaned every bit of concrete. So once it warms up here in probably a few more weeks, I will be out here doing all of the patio and the driveway and the pool area again. But this is what I'll be using. You can find these made by lots of different brands at three and four times the price of this one. And no way was I going to spend that amount of money, but this one is so affordable. It does the job perfectly. Don't spend a ton of money to get a surface cleaner for your power washer. Get the tool daily. And the last thing I want to show you, I know I'm out front right now, but it is this elevated planter box that I got for my herb garden. It's not warm enough yet here for us to be able to plant our herbs and flowers. So my husband put the box together. Everything's just kind of hanging out in the box right now. I wheel it out in the sun during the day and I put it back in the garage at night. But in the next couple weeks, we should be able to plant everything. So if you want to have flowers or herbs on your patio area, this is the cutest elevated planter box. It is made of wood. You do have to put it together. It took my husband and I 10 minutes tops it was super easy to put together but it is wood it is painted a light gray color it has decorative caps on the ends and it's four feet long by two feet wide so it will hold for me a ton of basil and rosemary i am dying to make basil pesto this summer homemade basil pesto and i wanted a huge elevated planter box for my basil i looked at planter boxes that were on the ground but then i would have to constantly be bent over to pick my herbs and i didn't want to do that so i love this one because it is elevated it is waist height for me or you could plant any kind of flower in here if you have a shady area or a sunny area. Really, it's a universal use planter box. It did come with the bed liner that I will use when I actually plant my flowers in it. But for now, I just have everything sitting inside it. These are my diplodenias that will go around the pool and the big planters, but they're hanging out in my elevated planter box right now. This is on my little basil babies that I'm so excited to be planting. It's like taking care of children right now because like I said, outside during the day, in the garage at night. But this little elevated planter box did not come on wheels and 
And my husband was like, you need to be able to wheel that around and push it where you want to because basil is very finicky. In the hot, hot, hot heat of the summer, I wanted to be able to move the planter box out of the direct sun. So my husband bought some inexpensive wheels on Amazon, screwed them in the bottom, and now I can move my planter box wherever I want to. So if you ever thought about planting herbs or flowers in somewhere and you didn't want a heavy pot or you wanted something that you could move, this was a gem of a find on Amazon. Highly recommend also buying the set of wheels and putting them on there. And I will link the planter box and the wheels that we used in the description box below this video. So if you wanna add wheels, you will know exactly what we put on ours. The wheels do have a lock. 360 degree turn you put them in with four little screws and boom i had a moving and rolling elevated planter box i cannot wait to be out here and enjoying my pool and the patio we already have our patio furniture outside my husband's already done some grilling but i'm ready to get in the pool but a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video the maker of this rechargeable led pool light found on Amazon. Everything that I've shown you in today's video will be linked in the description box below. So I hope that I have helped you get some great ideas to jazz up your pool and patio area. It's spring. You got to do it now. You got to get it going because the season is short and I want to soak up every single moment that I can out here enjoying my pool and patio. See you later.